Here's a funny little quirk of the camera technology conversation. A quick video to discuss smartphone camera sensors. We've been in a sensor arms race of late, and the topic of sensor sizes is becoming more important to the discussion. Especially on some of our more premium shooters, these sensors are getting real big. When we describe these differences in size, we refer to a measurement a fraction of an inch. iPhones from the 4 to the iPhone 10 all had roughly one-third inch sensors. Then the iPhone 10s brought in a 1 over 2.55 inch main sensor. In Android land, we've been using sensors just shy of a half inch since the days of the Galaxy S6 and LG G4. But around the Galaxy S7 era, the smartphone market landed on that 1 over 2.55 inch sensor that still persists today as an excellent balance of size and performance. It's the main camera sensor found in the iPhone 12 Pro and is the main sensor used in the Pixel 5a. It's a fantastic point and shoot performer. To improve on our mobile photography though, we're watching those sizes climb. We broke through proper half inch sensors and then they just keep getting bigger. One over 1.7, one over 1.4, and some big sensors climbing up to one over 1.3. If you remember your basic fraction, we're getting closer and closer to 1 over 1, or a 1 inch phone camera sensor. But we gotta explain that, because the notion of a 1 inch sensor is kind of funny. As is using that size to represent every other camera sensor as a fraction of that size, hilarious. How big is a 1 inch sensor? You're probably gonna wanna say, one inch? Spoiler alert, this is kind of a trick question. This is actually pretty easy because we know the dimensions. A one inch sensor in a camera like a Sony RX100 typically measures around 13 millimeters across and almost nine millimeters in height. Some basic math, we arrive at close to a 16 millimeter diagonal. Did you catch that though? 13 millimeters, nine millimeters, 16 millimeters, one inch? Hmm. If you're a product of the United United States educational system, like me, I won't tag you too hard for not knowing your metric measurements. But one inch is 25.4 millimeters, which is a fair bit more than any of the measurements on a one inch camera sensor. So where does that name come from? Why call it an inch if none of the dimensions reach an inch? We got a flashback to the golden age of television. The cameras we used to use for broadcast had tubes inside of them. Like CRT TVs and monitors which display an image, cameras had similar hardware to capture an image. When describing broadcast cameras, we're literally describing the outer diameter of a glass cylinder. A one inch tube has an outer glass diameter of one inch. Inside that one inch tube, the hardware responsible for capturing light and resolving an image is roughly two thirds of an inch or about 16 millimeters. So when we started transitioning away from tubes in our cameras, we kept a lot of the surrounding hardware, camera bodies, lenses, they remained the same for the same applications. And today, digital sensors are still described by those applications. So for hardware that used a one inch tube, the digital sensor equivalent would have to fit in a similar housing and behave in a similar fashion. So we end up with a digital camera sensor that's roughly 16 millimeters on the diagonal. A one inch sensor has a 16 millimeter diagonal. The world is a funny and strange place. If you're a nerd like me and you've ever been curious why we talk about camera sensors as fractions of an inch, now you have the answer. And thank you for coming to my tech talk. As always, thanks so much for watching, sharing, subscribing, all the support for channels like mine, greatly appreciated, especially the sharing and then checking out the links in the description down below, maybe shopping a little merch. That kind of stuff really does help keep production rolling on this channel. You can find me around the rest of the internet at some gadget guy on the Twitters and the Twitch and the Facebooks and the Instagrams, and I will catch you all on the next video.